Are you waiting for the perfect moment to get things going? You hear that plane up there? No, I'm not gonna wait. I think that quite often we are waiting for that perfect moment so we could get things going. Waiting for our kids to get out of school, waiting for our situation to change, waiting for this, waiting for that. But if we wait, you know, I recently had a friend who told me, Jose, but sometimes your, your videos, they have some noise in the background. Well, you know what? I have an idea and I have a feeling that I want to post a video about and I can't wait. I can't wait for the distraction to go away because life is full of distractions. So how do you manage your distractions today? Um, how do you manage your feeling like you want to be perfect? How do you manage that? You know, um, there's a Chinese proverb, which is quite comical, which I'm going to say today. It is, if you want to be happy for one hour, go take a nap. If you want to be happy for one day, go fishing. If you want to be happy for one year, for one month, get married. <laughs> That's a funny one. If you want to be happy for one year, win the lottery. If you want to be happy for the rest of your life, dedicate your life to serving others. Yes, stop looking at that mirror. Stop looking at the colors. Stop looking at yourself and change your focus onto others. Just move your focus to, toward others, serving others. Why? Because there's a higher purpose in our journey on this earth for each and every one of us. And, you know, today I've been keeping up with, uh, with you know, with, because uh, I do a lot of reading and I've been keeping up with what's going on. And many leaders are confused and they're confusing the concept of free speech and the concept of um, of hey, I've got to say what I've got to say. It doesn't matter what I say. And um, I talk about this a lot because it's important that we have this value, this incredible free speech. That's why I'm here today. That's why I'm on this platform because I'm not afraid to tell you how it is that I feel about the certain things. And uh, we're having a good discourse right now in our nation about the concept of free speech, speech. And we should, because it is an experiment. It is uh, not what one person says or another says. We should, we should have a discussion about what it constitutes. And we should definitely have a, an ardent discussion about it. But as long as we're focused on each other and um, a lot of many leaders get confused about that. They think it's about them. Unfortunately, it's not. Fortunately, actually, it's not. Uh, leadership doesn't demean people. Leadership doesn't disparage people. Leadership, good leaders don't respond in a disparaging and negative and condescending way. Leaders are listeners and leaders set the example. Um, the greatest nations have been created by great leaders. You know, uh, look at India, all right? Um, you know, they had to battle through uh, control by uh, Great Britain. And it was 100 years, but someone came around. Remember that? You remember, guys, remember? Great leaders with great patience and great love and great understanding. Tough, tough leaders. But a tough leader doesn't have to be a, a rude and disgusting leader. A tough leader can be a leader that says, no, we're not going to go that way. But they're going to do it with the best intention and the best kindness possible. So today, I recommend that we learn to detect and discern what constitutes a real leader? And I'm sweating, by the way. I'm sweating because it's super hot out here. What constitutes good leadership? It is kindness and toughness, but it is not rudeness. You know, <clears throat> any man with strength can subdue another with brute force. But a man that's, a, that's able, or a woman that is able, 
to compel someone to accomplish something by sheer determination and will will go farther than the one that says I'm going to subdue you by brute force so as we learn today about our current uh, society and what's happening and we ex we we work through to through this experiment of determining what it is that constitutes our ability to speak out uh, let's have a discussion let's continue talking let's continue discussing let's continue to have a dialogue about it because without the dialogue there is war strife and uh, even if you know, I think it was Daryl Jones, was it? The gentleman um, who was, who wrote a book, who actually was uh, spent, he's a piano player, and he said that even if we're screaming at each other, even if we're fighting with one another, as long as we're talking and communicating, we need to continue doing that. It doesn't matter. The minute we turn our face and we go a separate way, that's when the war, suspicion, strife begins. So let's continue talking today. If you know someone that you've been having troubles with, continue talking today. If you or your spouse has, have been disagreeing, continue talking today. Just continue focusing on communication because that's the best way that we can continue this great, great experiment in this great nation.